News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Amila Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook, our Prince Amila Entertainment, Facebook group, our Prince Amila Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter at Amila ENT. Follow us on Twitter and follow back. Today is the 20th of March 2022. So, guys, here's the latest here uh, regarding to Maz Baba Veshanduko. And you all know what happened to the man. And uh, I was I was So here's the latest guys are regarding to the whole situation. Uh citizens coalition for change a triple C activist uh, Godfrey Karembera yesterday appeared before Arari Magistrate Barbara Mateko at Pranyatwa Hospital where he is receiving treatment after he was assaulted by the police following his arrest on Thursday on charges of a disorderly conduct. This comes as police said they must be given space in their investigations into allegations of the torture which occurred while he was in custody at Arari Central Police Station. And uh, his lawyers were denied an opportunity to file an application challenging his placement on remand after the torture. Essentially, we sought to challenge uh, his uh, placement on remand and to raise our complaints to the state yesterday, but the magistrate refused to allow us and said we should make such an application on Monday, Karembera's lawyer Doug Collard said. On Friday, the Information and Publicity Ministry on Twitter said some police officers had been arrested for assaulting uh, the triple C activist. In a bizarre twist, the ministry deleted the tweet after about an hour as part of their investigations into allegations of ill treatment of a suspect in custody. Some police officers have been arrested, the ministry tweeted. We will release more information when it becomes available. On the day Karembira was seized by the police on the streets of Harare and tortured in custody, the ministry tweeted, We have seen allegations of someone being ill-treated in police custody. Facts are currently being gathered and once information becomes available, it will be released to the public. Meanwhile, a police spokesperson, Aston Commissioner Ponyati, when contacted for comment, said, Give us space. We made it clear from the onset that we are investigating allegations that Karembera was beaten by police officers and we make sure that the law takes its course, Nyati said. So we would like to appear to the members of the public, including the media, to give us the space to conduct investigations. We also want to try to avoid investigating the case while at the same time we are giving every bit of information to the media. But I can assure you that everything is being done above board. Police claim that they arrested Karembira, popular known as Mazbabawe Shanduko, for disorderly conduct and trying to deface Ubiani and statue. In the run-up up to Saturday's by-elections in 29 parliamentary constituencies and over 100 wards, security forces have been accused of unfairly treating Triple C by blocking its campaign rallies and arresting the party candidates and supporters on trumped up charges. So guys, that's the latest year regarding the whole situation. Uh, Maz Babawe Shanduko was beaten up on Thursday and yesterday uh, on Friday he appeared in court and uh, he is still at Parinatwa Hospital. And uh, so which means that uh, on Monday yes, uh, they shall apply to a council for work and a bail and uh, remember Kuti, the man is uh, under police guard and the panama soldier the police on the foot and so guys we're going to keep you in the loop but take any new information we wish him a speedy recovery because uh, like for you uh, it's fake or is a stage managed or whatsoever I know my police are should be held accountable those police officers should be arrested you know simple as that and uh, i don't know why it is taking uh, so much time for the police to arrest those people and investigate i mean uh, two weeks uh, three months to me investigating uh, like Etika on thursday i mean we all know what happened you all know the police officers who are arrested the Baba in in the cbd i mean and again our police officers need to have uh, their names on their sheets and it uh, could be uh, prince it could be john it could be mary so that we as the public 
you know kuti ndasungwa na John ndasungwa na Mary ndasungwa na, na, na Prince eh kuti mangwana kuti kuti kana nini nda ku report nyaya yangu ndino ndichi ai wa John ndi akandroa na Mary ndi wakandroa because mastao anenga ari pachena like what uh, in SA in SA ma ma Prince ane mastao pa masheza so that we know kuti okay uyu ndi Peterson uyu ndi Ngrikin so that when something happens like in this instance you can easily identify these guys i would know angari Peter angari John ndi wakandroa ni baba and so those police officers need to be held accountable they need to be arrested and because muna angaro we police ka camp imi murimo uchiza kuti munhu arimo atamusunga munhu munoroa moti zoni we are still doing investigations investigations for how long anyway we wait for those investigation results kuti abude then you can come back here and talk about it but as for now this is looking fishy this is smelling fishy eh pane gonzo rokunhuwa and they know kuti gonzo zvese riri papi but they just pretending like they don't know pakaipa this is a daily news breaking news everyday news thank you guys for listening and watching let's go back to mashingo and see the zvifamba say and bless up thank you Sinister.